Immelin have done it again. They're just really hunting that Lumen game and they're doing it really well. They're creating some really cool lights. Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop here with actually the second brightest torch in the world. 65,000 lumens and you guessed it, it's from Immelin. Another one from Immelin, huge output. This is called the MS12 Mini. Uh, it's big brother here, the MS18, brightest torch in the world, 100,000 lumens. I've already got a video on that, so if you go check that out, it'll be in the comments below. But this one is just way more compact, really usable, and let's get into it. Da -da -da -da. First of all, get in a nice box like this. Got a bit of information on the outside, uh, like your QR codes and saying it's 65,000 lumens, nice picture of the torch. What you get inside though is you get your 240 volt to DC charger, AU of course. You get a couple spare O-rings and a lanyard as well. So nice weatherproof O-rings there. Good quality lanyard. Don't know if you'd run a lanyard with this light in particular, just because it's quite large. You get a nice nylon holster as well. Good size pocket clip, Velcro and everything like that. So if you wanted to lash it to a bag or something like that, you know this one's gonna hold up. You obviously get your user manual. Now, read through this for really good quality specs on run times, outputs, everything like that, because it's such a high, high output light. Those run times will really depend on how hot the torch is. Like I always say, I'm never gonna cover it all in these videos. So yeah, definitely worth reading those manuals. And then you get your beast of a searchlight. Now check out the front of that. That is absolutely awesome. Built in fan. Now it's running on 12 Cree XHP 70.3 chips. Now that's the updated generation three, uh, which is yeah, pumping out 65,000 lumens on high, those big high bursts. Now it's got an inbuilt fan, different to a couple of the other bigger models that brought out with that sort of exo exoskeleton frame on it. This one's fully built in and you cannot turn it on and off. It only comes on when the torch is heating up and needs to cool down and it'll turn off sort of subsequently after that as well. Um, charging port at the back here, just unscrew that back tail cap, reveals the charging port. That'll light up green when it's fully charged and red when it's charging. And then you just screw that back on as well. So as you can see, it's not overly too bulky. I mean, it is a bulky torch, it is 65,000 lumens. But yeah, it's not crazy bulky at all. Now it's running off a built-in battery pack. So that's running. that's got four 21700s in there. So quite a large battery pack. You're gonna get quite decent run times, obviously on those low modes. The high modes are just gonna drain it down quite a lot because it's such a high powered unit. Now it is one meter impact resistant. It's got a waterproof rating of IP56. So it is submersible for around that one meter. And that fan is also water resistant as well, that thermo control fan. So you don't have to worry about that getting wet in the rain or anything like that. So yeah, you're totally covered there. Maximum beam intensity is 268,000 candela. So that is just a huge amount of concentrated light. Uh, you're gonna get about uh, just over a kilometer distance as well. So the, one, the reflector in the middle is a little bit deep set. I don't know if you can sort of see that. Um, just sort of try to show the side there. Hopefully you can sort of gather that. You're probably getting most of your distance, hopefully. I mean, the way I was showing it, they're just so bright, but I think it sort of comes around like that and uh, you're able to get quite enough distance, but yeah, it is crazy bright and probably mostly a search floodlight sort of thing. Now it does have six output levels, so let's get into it. So you've got the low mode of 1,500 lumens and that's going to give you four hours of runtime. So low mode is just crazy high. Um, can't get much lower than that off this, um, which is fine. 1,500 lumens is just a huge output for a low light. Then you got the medium low, and that's 3,000 lumens. And you're gonna get a couple, two and a half hours runtime on that, uh, which yeah, is huge amount of light coming out of something like this, a torch like this, um, just purely because those LEDs are not maxing out and they're able to just throw that light everywhere. It's fantastic, that mid low. Jump up to the mid one. Now that's 5,000 lumens. You're gonna get an hour and a half runtime on that roughly. Um, the fan may kick in on that sort of runtime when if you've got it on for long periods. But most of all, I sort of found that fan didn't kick on so much yet. Then you jump up to that mid two range where you're starting to get some really, really 
large sort of output. So that's 13,000 lumens and that's gonna give you just under an hour's run time. The fan will jump on on that and um, yeah, it is huge amount of light. And yeah, like I said before on those mid modes, the LEDs are still not maxing out and the battery is not maxing out. So it's a super usable light. It's going to be able to run for ages and yeah, really, really cool coming out of something just pretty, pretty compact. Like 60,000 lumens previously was around that. I don't know if you remember the Ace Beam X70, fantastic light, really, really big light. Just about as big as the MS-18. Uh, really big reflect up, but they're able to punch out something if not more lumen output out of something like this. It's, yeah, really incredible. High mode, and then you're getting up to 25,000 lumens, and then it'll drop back down to 13,000 lumens. So over that 48 minutes. So you're getting about three minutes on that 25,000 lumens. And then you jump up to your turbo, which is 65,000 lumens. And then again, it'll drop back down to that 13,000. So 13,000 seems to be where it's able to like level its uh, temperature out quite a lot and you're gonna get 40 seconds, 45 seconds, and then it's gonna drop back down for the next 40 minutes. A crazy amount of light output out of such a compact light is going to get hot, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind. I was using it on quite a sort of brisk night, quite a, uh, not not hot at all, so, um, and it was still getting quite warm just on those high settings. Mind you, I was probably testing it on those high settings quite a lot, just jumping up to turbo and back down, because yeah, it's quite impressive, so I did wanna sort of get all around that. So yeah, if you're sort of, if you know you're going to be out there for long periods of time, I'd sort of use it on that mid one, mid two range, uh, where it just excels in any way. And um, yeah, you're gonna get loads of run time out of that. Overall, fantastic little light. I mean, the cooling fans, uh, I don't mind that you have to, you can't turn them off. I mean, in the long jeopardy of things, I think that's the way you want it. Otherwise, if you're out there and um, you didn't turn it on, you could potentially ruin that ruin that torch. So yeah, it doesn't bother me. It's great to know that they're sort of water resistant and any rain, anything like that's not going to hurt it at all. Imelin have done it again. They're just really hunting that lumen game and they're doing it really well. They're creating some really cool lights. A lot of other companies have got some high output lights, but nothing the way Imelin are. I mean, they've got the brightest torch and commercial torch in the world, which is that 100,000 lumens. They've just brought out this little cracker of a little light. Uh, it's 65,000 lumens. Those numbers mean a lot because they're able to go so high, which means they're so designed to take all that power, all that heat. They're really over-engineered for sort of something that's running at 13,000 lumens, 10,000 lumens, all that sort of high lumen output. They're sort of over-engineered for that. And that means you just get fantastic run times, really good light output and just um, actually beam pattern sort of becomes really, really nice around, around those mid modes, I reckon. Uh, but then you can just jump up to 65,000 lumens and who doesn't want to do that? Because yeah, it is impressive. Just just floodlights, everything. Please comment, let me know what you think about it. Whether you like this size for such a bright light or you'd rather bigger, more compact. Um, what you'd like to see it go head to head against. Um, yeah, I'd love to bring some of that content out. So if you've got a torch in mind that you want to see it sort of compare against, let us know and I'll try to get it to, through to you. Uh, also drop a link to the MS-12 Mini from Immolent below where you can check out the whole lumen top range. They've obviously got the brightest torch in the world, the MS-18 uh, MS uh, and a ton of other great products. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this one on the MS-12. Please feel free to like, subscribe, really helps the channel out. Hit that bell notification so you can keep up to date with all new torches like this and other great content. So thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.